The sea level rise panel in North Carolina, the science panel, essentially concluded that by 2100, we will have a three-foot sea level rise, or we would very likely have a three-foot sea level rise. This immediately uh, precipitated a, um, a, an uproar within the state. They're trying to legislate reality. They're not trying to make laws that fit the world that we live in and that address the best facts and understanding we can gather. Eventually, the legislature decided these numbers were so damaging for the future of the state coastal development that they couldn't accept these numbers. They're trying to legislate what the world is going to be. And so I said, OK, if that's how it's going to work, then starting tomorrow, I look like George Clooney. And starting tomorrow, you know, I started to think of all the things that I would like it to be if I got to legislate the reality. And basically, what they were doing is they were saying, you know why the sea level isn't going to rise? Because it's not allowed to. Because in North Carolina, we're making that illegal. About the same time, the state uh, legislature outlawed or prevented the publication of maps to show what people living here could expect. And what they can expect is, is some serious flooding in the future, serious storm surges in the future. But the state legislature said, no, we are not going to publish these maps. In some ways, the legislature said that we're not interested in what scientists have to say or what we know about sea level rise and what we can expect. Instead, we care more about uh, our economic wealth, of particular those who have large investments in the coastal plain. To me, this borders on a criminal act. I mean, to, to keep people from learning what might happen in the future is really is, is unacceptable. I find this rather egregious because there are plenty of people in the coastal plain who are struggling to make a living as is. And they're not being told the truth about where they might find themselves 10 years, 20 years, 40 years, or 50 years down the road when it comes to a sea level rise. They're essentially being kept in the dark.